Hi kids. Today will be our last art lesson for this school year. So I wanted to make it a fun one. So what we're going to do is make a sculpture. So we're going to use some um, objects that could be recycled to make something else. So here is uh, one that I made. I'll give it up here closer to you. So I've got some pasta and a star with a bead and a pom-pom and some puzzle pieces and just a, an old piece of cork. And then they make these cool pasta noodles that are letters. So I wrote my name out. And then I decorated it with some paint. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is get a base for our structure. Uh, so this is a piece of cardstock, so cardboard would be even better. But the first thing I'm going to do is glue eight popsicle sticks or craft sticks to this base, and I'm using Elmer's glue. I don't think a glue stick will work for this. All right, so I'm just going to lay these down side by side. Just a little more glue. Okay, now if you have some extra time, you may want to let this dry before you start building on it, but you don't have to. All right, so there's the base for the sculpture. So now I'm going to start picking out some objects to glue on. So I've got I've got two bottle caps here. And I'm going to use those. So I want to put some glue. Around the edge and stick those on. Now this can really turn out to be whatever you want it to be. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing because you may not have the same materials as I have here. All right, and now I'm going to find, I'm gonna go in my bin and find some other objects that I want to use. Okay, so. I'm going to use some of those wagon wheel pastas. You can find these at Giant. So I'm going to glue those on to the tops of the bottle caps. So it's going to look kind of like eyes. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of pasta and glue that on like a mouth. So this is a long, skinny pasta. Right, I'm going to move this down a bit so it looks a little closer to you. All right, now I've got a little wooden heart. And around the heart, I'm going to put some beads. Well, actually, let me just fill up the whole heart. And I'll just start putting in The 
think I used a lot of glue on that. Well, the good thing about Elmer's glue is it dries clear. Okay, so I've got some beads on there now. Um, on this side, I'm gonna glue a puzzle piece. This is from a puzzle that a bunch of pieces are lost from. So I'm just recycling those into something else. Um, let's see, got a small pom-pom. I'm gonna put that on top of the puzzle piece. Um, let's see. And I've got some toothpicks. So I might stick those up here. No, down here, I think. So I'll put a couple on each side and maybe that will look like hair. Okay, so I'll do three pieces on each side. So I can stop there or I can e keep adding more things. And then once it's completely dry, you can add some details like with paint, if you have paint at your house. Okay, so I want you to make whatever kind of sculpture you wanna make. So this one, the first one I showed you was just random stuff on a base. This one I actually made a face with recycled materials. So you can do whatever you want. If you want to make a cat or a dog, or you just want to make some other kind of sculpture that is just whatever you decide to glue on there. All right, well, I hope you've had fun making art with me this year and for those of you that are coming back to school next year I will see you then and if you're moving on to Liberty Valley good luck and I hope everyone has a wonderful safe happy summer until next year bye